Hey YouTubers, welcome to a professional video production on a shoestring budget. Today I want to talk about a couple of accessories for your kit that you might want to consider. Uh, a rain cover for your camera and a underwater box for getting, getting your camera under the water and getting some shots. Um, start with the rain cover. Um, <clears throat> I live uh, in the uh, southwest coast of British Columbia and uh, it's a rainforest. It rains a lot, especially in the winter. So a rain cover is pretty much a must. Um, this is a, a Porter Brace. Uh, they're, the, they're the standard in the industry. They, they make covers for all kinds of cameras. So this is the cover for my Sony V1U. It's a custom fit cover. It fits really snugly right around the front of the lens. And when it's on there, the entire camera is covered. And uh, the viewfinder is just sticking out the back and the entire camera is protected. There's a flap here. For the camera mic so you can I can have the camera mic on there and use that for BG sound I can even use that for an interview if it's not that critical um, <clears throat> but as usual I would try to get the mic off the camera in my hand and get it in front of the subject and I can do that with this rig pretty easily um, but yeah this this was under a hundred dollars I forget the price but I know it was under a hundred bucks there's a big window there you can see your LED screen and all your settings and stuff um, Really good insurance if, if you live, uh, if you think you want to do a lot of winter shooting in the mountains, this will protect you from the snow and the elements and the rain. So a really good investment to protect your larger investment. Um, you know, if you've got a camera like the V1U that's over $3,000, you know, for a hundred bucks, that's a really good investment. The other type of um, camera cover that Porter Brace builds, and they've been building them forever, this is the one I used on my old Betacam, and this is a padded cover, and it's designed to give you a little bit more shock-resistant protection. Um, you know, people banging into the camera, things like that. And, and this uh, system actually had a bag with a rain cover in it. So if it started to rain, you'd pull out that rain cover, and it would cover the camera to protect the camera from the rain and the elements. Um, you can get these for almost any kind of camera, prosumer cameras. Um, you know, in the $3,000 and up range. And they're a bit more money, um, but you can look at that too. It's something for you to consider depending on your applications and your comfort zone. A lot of, the, a lot of these things are all about your comfort zone. Um, but uh, as, as I said, the rain cover for under 100 bucks, uh, you know, that, that's a really good investment. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you is the, uh, the box I built years ago for my Betacam, and I've modified it since for my V1U, to get um, some underwater shots. I built this myself, I had some plywood laying around, and so it's just basically a box with some foam in it, camera sits on, and a piece of plexiglass on the front, and everything is glued, of course, tons of glue on this, and it, and it, and it still fairly, seems fairly watertight, and, and I'll show you, let me get a little bit wider here, so I can, I can show you some of the shots I've, I've got with this rig. Um, underwater shots are really dramatic, especially when it's sunny out. There's something about the, the sun filtering through the water. You, you can, even with a cheap camera, you just get fantastic shots under the water. Of course, you need something to shoot. You need a subject, a uh, fish helper. You know, here's, I've got some, this is some stuff I've shot with my Sony V1U. In HD, I've, I got some great shots in a lo little local river here of some fish and, and some, uh, there's, a, there's a crayfish. Um, but, uh, you know, pretty easy to make, you know, if you're handy at all with some, some woodworking tools. I even have a lid for this that I built for it. It's got a, a window in there. I could see the viewfinder on my Betacam. Um, and if it was really raining heavy, I could put that lid on the top and strap it down. It's not so that I, I'm not watertight. I'm not, I'm not going under the water with this. I'm just getting the lens below the surface of the water, and it's pretty effective. And this is just to protect me from the elements, if it was raining or if it was really ugly. Um, so there you go. Uh, the other thing you can do, the other thing that guys do for getting underwater shots, is they use old aquariums. Of course, that's brilliant. An old aquarium that, that is designed to hold water in, of course, will keep the water out. So if you've got an old aquarium kicking around and your camera fits in it, put some foam in the bottom, you know, to just to set your camera on so it's got a cushion, and fool around with that. Um, especially if you've got a waterway somewhere that 
you know, where you can find some, uh, some fish or, or some crabs or something like that. You know, you can use these at the ocean. I've used this down at the beach as well and, uh, and, and got some great shots. Um, so, so try that, fool around with that. Or even if it's just for family videos to get some shots of the kids and that, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun and it's, it's really effective and it's easy to do. So, so there you go, guys, underwater shots on a, on a shoestring budget. Next time I'm going to talk about aerial shots, aerial, aerial photography. Um, I've done some of it over the years with my, with my big beta cam. And I'm going to talk about, I'm going to show you some differences between shooting from a helicopter and shooting from a fixed wing, which is a lot less money. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, check my channel out. I've, there's lots of there's lots of videos in this series um, about professional video production on a shoestring budget. I've been doing television for over 30 years, and and I'm trying to give you some tips and tricks that I've picked up over the years that will help your production and, and maybe save you some money. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.